welcome back. So you guys really liked that Milani video that I posted. A lot of feedback on that you really like try-on hauls. So Flower Beauty recently came out with some products. I was at Walmart and I saw these and I was like, gotta pick those up. They have a bunch of these uh, palettes. Now, these shadow palettes, very reminiscent. They have this golden one, which I picked up, and I haven't even opened them out of the thing, so it's going to be some first impressions here um, and try on. But the palettes look very reminiscent of the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked palettes. They had a more cool tone palette like the Naked 2. They had this one, which is tool. I don't know how I said that, but the Naked 2. They had this one, which is like the original, and then they had a pink one, and then I think another one. So it looked like they came out with similar to. Um, this has a lot more shimmery shades in it. Uh, well, I guess the Naked palette has one, two matte shades, but this has only, this has a couple of matte shades, but only one like real transition shade. So anyways, I wanted to do my eyes with this. It's probably going to be, and swatch it for you. And then they had these new powder blushes. This says that is a soft satin finish easy to blend and buildable, and I got the color Sweet Pea. What I was really excited about is they have this new highlighting trio. So we'll see how that is. It has like a pinkish one, a goldish one, and more of a champagne, plus it has a little brush. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. And then they had a couple different for different skin tones, but this is the light to medium. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. So it has a blush. Um, a shimmery bronzer and then a highlight. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna start on my eyes. I've already done my foundation, so I'm just gonna use this palette is the Golden Natural, and we're just gonna give this a whirl. Let me just open this up. Okay, so it says that it has a six dollar bonus brush in it. Hallelujah! I've tried some of the Flower Beauty brushes. They're beautiful. They have like rose gold right here. So this is a nice fluffy crease brush. And then this is what it looks like. So a really nice brush. Here is what the palette looks like. And I'm just going to swatch some of these colors. Okay. Woo. Uh, it looks a little powdery, but they're very soft. Very, very soft. That's nice. Ooh, baby, baby. So pretty nice and shimmery. I'd be curious how they apply. Here's the matte shade right there. They feel a little bit powdery, but we're gonna see how they blend. This was around uh, $13 for the palette. So all of them are picking up a lot of product, so you're gonna have to, that was actually right You're there. gonna have to make sure you tap your brush so you're not getting a ton of fallout on your face, or I would recommend doing your foundation after you do your eyes. I didn't do that today, but um, that would be my recommendation. Let me get a few more swatches here for you. So they're all very nicely pigmented. And, ooh, that dark brown is really pretty. It's getting awkward now to show what it says. Oh, I have the word determined. I just wrote it with a Sharpie. That's my new logo for myself and this whole weight loss journey. I just realized I need to just be determined. Just keep pressing. Forward. I lost only 0.4 pounds this week, and that was like a little bit sad for me. But I realized it's a it's a process. That's the darker shade, so it's a process, and I just have to keep going. Um, and so yeah, that's why I just put that word determined because I'm just gonna be determined to get to my final goal, no matter what, how little or much I gain in a week or lose. I just have to keep pressing forward. So. Just thought I would. Okay, so these look like they swatch really, really nicely. So let's just see how they apply to the eye. I'm going to start out with the lightest um, of the two, of like the matte shades. This color right here, it's like the trans, it looks like a transition color. And I'm going to go ahead and use the brush. Kicks up a lot of product when I stick my brush in there. Um, so I'm going to make sure I tap that off like a ton gum. Oh, shoot, I just dipped in the wrong one. A ton comes off when you're tapping it off. Let's but. just apply this. I had concealer on my eyes and apparently there's a ginormous crease in there, so sorry about that if you saw that. Okay. Ooh, that applies pretty nicely. Really nice transition color. I'm going to try and build it up a little bit. It builds nicely. That's a really nice blend that I feel it gives, and this brush is really nice. 
perfect size for the crease. Okay, I'm going to go into this dark brown. This is the second one um, to the, like, at the end of the palette. I'm going to go the second one in. I'm going to take that same brush, and I'm just going to kind of build up in the crease, darken it up, more so concentrating that on the outer corner here. This outer V. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I feel like these are... I'm really happy with this palette. If you are someone who has been wanting to get the Naked palettes, but it's just not in your budget, this would be a really great alternative because I feel like you can find it at the drugstore. Um, and it does have very similar similar shades in it or color, sort of color scheme to the palettes. I don't want to say that there's dupes in here because they don't look like necessarily dupes, but nice like a warm palette, a cooler palette. Um, with that kind of that concept like the Naked palettes. But this would be a great option for you because these look like they're blending really, really nicely. Like I'm pretty impressed. There's no skipping or anything and they're building really nicely. So even though they are powdery when they swatch, they're going on really well. Well, Holly Lou here. Literally every time I film, I have like the itchiest nose. I think I've said this a million times, but I get the itchiest nose when I film. Like, I just rubbed all of my foundation off pretty much. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what I want on the lid. I think I'm going to go for this lighter of the golds. There's a couple of different golds in here. Well, maybe I'm going to go for this shade right here. Because this reminds me of like what the shade Half Baked would be in the Naked palette. So we're just going to go. The colors here look a little bit cooler as far as the mattes, the cooler toned. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Now I did get some fallout on my cheeks when I put that on with my finger. So... Maybe I should have used a brush and then tapped off the excess. With this lighter gold shade like kind of in the center of it just to bring a little bit more dimension just maybe just because I kind of want to play with some of those colors yeah that's a little bit lighter more pale gold I'm gonna take this deepest darkest shade this is like a matte almost has a little bit of a plumminess to it I would say and I'm gonna work that on the outer corners just to bring a little bit more depth Kind of blend that in a little bit. I'm going to take this like deeper bronze shade and put that uh, on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the lightest shimmer shade and pop that on the inner corners. I'm going to, after this, put a little bit of mascara on and some wing liner, and then we'll go on to the face products. Okay, so I went ahead and applied mascara, winged eyeliner, and I put on a fall, pair of false lashes. I used the Esquito BFF lashes. Um, I haven't worn Esquito lashes in a while. I haven't had any. They just recently sent me a few pairs, and they did give me a discount code, so I will leave that linked down below um, if you're interested in them. But I really like the style. They're very fluffy. I haven't worn false lashes in like a couple of weeks because I've been going lashless for a while, but I just decided to pop a pair on. But obviously, you could wear them or not wear them um, if you're comfortable with them or not. Okay, so let's move on to the face products because I'm very interested in seeing um, about some of the face products that came out. So this is the contouring palette. This is the light to medium contouring palette. Let's give this one a whirl, open it up. I don't know if I'm going to use the blush in this palette because I want to try the separate potted blushes um, instead of this one just because I want to give that a whirl because it is a new product I picked up. But let's go ahead and swatch this. I think I'm going to use the bronzer from this palette. So it has the highlighter, which looks really, really pretty. Oh, super duper pigmented. Again, very powdery feeling. Uh, it picks up quite a bit of product. They all feel quite powdery, but that's how... Holy, holy mackerel. So there is a lot of powder, but 
look at that highlight. That looks so pretty. That's quite a pink blush, like quite a bright pink blush, and it is very powdery, but I'm sure if you just blended it in, it would be, you know, doable. But that highlight, though, oh, that's really beautiful. The bronzer is quite light. It, I mean, I think if you had, you would want to pick up, if you had medium skin, you would probably want to pick up the medium to dark palette because there is a trio of those. Um, I don't think you're going to want this one if you have medium skin. This would probably be fair to light, at least for the bronzer. So let's go ahead and apply that. A bit of product picks up on there. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. That goes on pretty pigmented. It's almost like a blush bronzer. Hmm. Whoa, okay, I just messed up over here because it's super powdery but pretty pigmented. Like, I thought it was going to be light. But a lot of product goes on there. I also went ahead and put on Beige Babe Lipstick by Maybelline on my lips. So that's what's on my lips. So that bronzer, it looks like it's a matte bronzer. But like I said, super duper pigmented. Uh, it just doesn't appear like it is, but it's pretty pigmented when you're putting it on because a lot of product picks up on your brush when you dip it into your brush. But I quite like that color. It's very, very pretty. It's It blends in really nicely once you get it on there. Uh, you're just going to have to be careful because when I first put it on, I was like, oh snap, because so kind of powdery and it applied kind of one product all in one spot okay let's I don't want to use the highlight from this because I want to try the highlight from the highlight palette but let's go ahead and open up this blush first this is the powder flower pots powder blush soft satin finish easy to blend buildable blush and I got the color sweet pea which is like a very natural pink color so let's see how this swatches. The blush like imprint on it is like a flower which reminds me of the Milani blushes, very similar um, imprint. This is definitely a cooler toned blush. That's very pretty when I swatch it. Goes on really pretty. I'm really excited about this. Okay. Again, quite a bit of product picks up, so I'm gonna, it's, it's kind of kicks up a lot of powder when I dip my brush in, but I'm just gonna tap that off and let's see how this goes. Oh, that's really pretty. Again, it's way more pigmented than you think it's going to be, like when it applies, but that's a really pretty pink color. Now they had several different colors. They had like a peach, um, a peach coral shimmer, and then I think, this color and then one other but so they have several different options i just wanted i thought this would be like probably the most wearable for me i go hard on my blush sometimes so i'm trying to be careful and not overdo it but this is really really pretty matte blush oh baby baby so i like that a lot i love the bronzer in that palette I haven't been the trio contouring one but i haven't been able to try the um, blush or the highlight in there, but we're going to try the highlight in this highlighting trio to give this a whirl. So this says it is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette, Long Lasting Natural Luminous Glow Sheer Coverage. All right, let's just see how this this is. I don't. This swatches anything like the highlight in that trio that I just swatched. I don't know about sheer coverage because that highlight looked like Shazam. Okay, here it is right here. It does have a brush that's in it, which I do want to use this brush to apply the highlighters uh, just to see. Okay, so there is like a champagne color, a pink color, and a golden color. Let's just see. Oh, baby, baby. Whoa, baby, baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at those highlights oh, from the drugstore. Oh, 
So there's like this beige color and then there's a pink color and then there's a gold color. Oh, is there something for everyone? Okay, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to try it. I'm going to try the lightest beige color and I'm gonna use the brush that it came with. Says it's a sheer finish, so let's just see. Oh, this is a stripe. Uh oh. Oh no, I can't use this brush. I don't like that brush because it gives like, it's super pigmented, so it just gives like a stripe. I'm gonna use, this is a Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. First of all, I'm gonna go in and blend out what I just did to myself. Oh my, that's super hot, that's super, that's not sheer, that's, that's very not sheer, it's very pigmented. It's super duper soft, so baby baby. So can you see that? Put a little down my nose, because like I said in my other video, I want to, and so I will. Wow, that highlight is beautiful. I kind of want to add like the pink to it. I mean, I'm just going to. What does that mean? Oh, I think I messed up. Oh, I just, I put on so much highlighter. It's going to be like my Milani video where I, they said it was sheer. <laughs> said it was buildable. Oh man, I just like totally overdid it with the highlight, but you know what? I want you guys to see how pigmented these highlighters are. They're beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay flower, I'm really impressed. I really, really liked it. What I will say is a lot of the products feel powdery upon swatching them. They kick up a lot of product. Sometimes that's not always a bad thing because the blendability of them when they're applied is beautiful. So that's why I don't like to always judge by swatching because some products swatch kind of cruddy or swatch super pigmented or powdery, whatever, and then they don't apply to the eye beautifully, they don't blend, that kind of thing, or they'll swatch beautifully and then they skip when you are trying to apply them to the eye. So you really have to swatch and try on. So I'm going to try and do a whole lot more of these try-ons included in some hauls. My final synopsis is definitely pick up these palettes. This golden natural one. I really like it. Um, the eyeshadow is blended really nicely on the eye. It gives a beautiful golden look. There's several different options for eye looks with the shades provided to get like a nice golden glow. I think these are very comparable if you're looking for something similar to the Naked palettes. And like I said, they do have a more uh, grayer, cooler toned palette in reflection of like the Naked 2. Not dupe shades, but similar scheme. So I do think that's really great. Uh, this was very powdery, but upon application applied beautifully. Like even the bronzer that I thought was going to be too light for my skin was beautiful, but I, you have to be careful on how much product you pick up on the brush and make sure to tap your brush off. And then the highlight palette, oh baby, oh baby. I, I would not say sheer coverage. I would say full on luminous glow, boom, baby, boom. And this blush was absolutely beautiful, super pigmented. I loved the way that it kind of blended in, so I'm really impressed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a try-on again of some newer products in the drugstore from Flower Beauty. If you want to check out Flower Beauty, they are at Walmart. That's where I found all my products, or you can get them on Walmart online. I bet you Flower Beauty online too, but anyways, they were in my local Walmart already. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below, as well as the little bell icon that is going to alert you if I post a new video on that. That way you won't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.